Ari Shalom. First off, I'm to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakaq Wadas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? I want to go on this topic of if you're not in the, the right spirit, okay? It don't matter whether you, you know, in the truth, okay, which as far as the, the doctrine is concerned. But if, you, if you're if teaching the, 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 the right doctrine, but you're not in the right spirit, you're off, okay? That you're a hypocrite, okay? You have a lot of people that know the, 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 the truth, okay, know the right doctrine. But they're not in the right spirit, okay? The doctrine is extremely important, and the, being in the, the spirit is extremely important, okay? If not more, more than, than the right doctrine, okay? We know the doctrine because we, 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 we uh, apply what's in the scriptures. We know what's going on. But we prepare ourselves, man, for, for, for those times that are about to come, man. Okay? John 4 and 23. But the hour comes, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit. It says in spirit first. And in truth. Okay? The truth is, the, the, the right doctrine is extremely important. Okay? Being in the spirit. And being in the truth go hand in hand. Okay? For the Father seeks such to worship Him. Okay? The ones that are in the right spirit and the ones that have His true doctrine. Okay? It don't matter whether you, 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 you say, oh, I'm in Great Millstone. And you go out there on the highway and has just... First off, you don't have to be in Great Millstone to be a part of the elect. Okay? Great Millstone has the true doctrine. Okay? Well, if you pick up this Bible, okay, you call yourself an Israelite, you, you go under the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, then technically you are a part of Great Millstone. Okay? Now, if you're not in the right spirit, then you're not in Great Millstone. You're not, you're not in the fold, man. Okay? It says, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? Now, I'm going to get this scripture, okay? Because this is important, man, okay? This is extremely important, okay? Uh, 2 Corinthians 8 and 12. For if, first that if, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man has and not according to that he has not okay we don't expect you to know everything that's in, inside the scriptures okay we don't expect you to know all the breakdowns okay to know every scripture to to know the the meat the the deep parts of the scriptures okay even even when it comes down to the to to being in the spirit we don't expect you to to to, to uh to, to, to handle meat things when it comes down to the spirit. But you should understand that a, 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 a humble man, okay, goes a long way. Okay? That your, your mindset is towards the Lord, and that's what that's what this scripture is talking about. If there first if there is first a willing mind, you see a brother that's charitable. Okay? You, you, charity covers a multitude of sins. Okay, you see that brother is, you know, willing to, to, to put that charity on, okay? Put, you know, for the brotherhood. If that brother is charitable, you're not going to sit up there and get on the brother because he don't know every scriptures. Okay? You got guys that know all the scriptures and he's not applying them, man. And this is for, for, for those guys, man. Okay? Because they're not willing to do certain things. Okay? Proverbs 21 and 27. The sacrifice of the wicked is, a, is an abomination. Okay? 
You got wicked niggas that are in this truth, okay? Going out on the highway and hedges, okay? Just because you go out there on the, the corners and teach, okay? If you're not in the right spirit, man, you're not you're not in the truth, man, okay? You might be you might be teaching the truth, but you're not in the truth, okay? It takes a lot to be be called a, a brother in this word, man, okay? Yeah, yeah, you got wicked brothers. Cain, Cain killed uh, Abel, didn't he? Okay? That example can be used towards niggas in this truth, man. Okay? Because all throughout the scriptures, you had Israelites that was doing wicked shit towards other Israelites, man. Okay? They knew they was Israelites. How much more when he brings it with a wicked mind? Because you... you you uh you you just throwing everything that's inside the scriptures behind you, okay? You're not willing to 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 do what Yahweh Bashmi outside say, okay? Suffering wrongfully. You know you got brothers that that have a problem with suffering wrongfully, okay? Always want to you know be right, the spirit of this world, man. Okay, Matthew seven and one. Judge not that you be not judged. And you got a lot of people out here that are going out on the highway and hedges and ain't right not righteous judges, man. Now we all got stuff with us and everything. Okay? That's a part of the truth. You gotta understand that. You know, in, in, in this doctrine, none of us are righteous, man. But you got some straight up unrighteous niggas out there on the highway and hedges, man. And that's why the apostles say that we're in this, you know the spirit of us cleaning, man. Okay? The Lord is getting rid of niggas, man. Okay? This ain't for niggas. Okay? Yeah, a nigga might come in for a little while, you know? But then then the spirit just find them out and he end up getting getting kicked out. Scriptures say few few many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? For what what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. So you can't be going out there, okay, talking about um you know, you guys out here, niggas, and y'all do this, that, or whatever. But then the whole time, you're being a nigga to your brothers, man. Can't go out there and get on a nigga woman, and then you out there, you know, dressed up as a nigga woman. Okay? In the videos and shit. You know, because you had that, that situation going on out here. Okay? But that guy wasn't wasn't in our camp, you know? But you, whatever judgment you 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 putting out there, you gotta look at it and make sure that you're not the ones that that that's doing that same shit. Okay, it says, and with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. So I can't sit up there and say, hey, stop smoking, okay? But the whole time I'm sitting up there smoking too, okay? When I think when when you point fingers, they all I heard there's three fingers pointing right back at you. So you gotta make sure that you write. Okay, when you when you saying stuff, and that's the same way when I'm doing this. When when I do my videos, I make sure that hey, if I'm if if the video is applied to anybody, it applies to me. Okay, so that when I say stuff, that I'm justified in what I'm saying. Okay, because I'm now here out here being a hypocrite, man. Okay, it says, and why beholdest thou the moat? That is in your brother's eye, but considers not the beam that is in your own eye. Okay? Don't, don't be a hypocrite, man. Okay? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of your, your eye, and behold, a beam is in your, your own eye. Going out on the highway and hedges. Okay? You trying to get people to walk right, but you ain't walking right. Just because you know the name of the Lord, you put on garments and stuff, that don't mean shit, man. Okay? You do your video, that don't mean nothing, man, if you ain't a man of the Lord, man. Okay? Now, we do have hope and mercy, um, that the Lord has mercy on us. Okay? But the, the, the men of the Lord are going to be humble, man. Okay? They're going to love their brothers. Okay? And they're going to continue with them. Okay, it's, uh, Romans 2 and 1, therefore, 
thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doest the same things. So when you judge, you're not supposed to be doing those things that you're getting on other people about. But we are sure that the judgment of Yahweh Shemiah Shai is according to truth against them which commit such things. And ain't just the people that don't know that they Israelites, but the people that know that they Israelites. Okay? And just because you, you got uh, woken up, okay? That, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. But that just means that's that's even more harder for you. Scripture says, walk, walk ye through the straight gate, man. Okay? And thinkest thou this, O man that judges them, but do such things and do us the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? You think you're going to escape? The Lord, the Lord has his eyes out on everything, man. Okay? He sets you up to do the things that you do. You ain't going to escape that, that judgment, you know, if you're being a hypocrite, man. Just because you're teaching the truth don't mean shit, okay? Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye call ye me, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, and do not the things which I say? Okay, you had people back then that knew that Yahweh Shah was the Lord. Judas, Judas Iscariot was walking with the Lord. Okay, he knew he was an Israelite. But 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 was was Judas was Judas a, 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 a would you say he's a brother now? No, he's still a fucking nigga out there, man. Okay, Matthew thirteen and forty seven. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. Okay, the sea is that multitude of people. Okay, every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore. And sat down and gathered the good into the into vessels, but cast the bad away. So we understand when we when we go out on the highway and hedges, we're gonna have some good people that come into this truth, okay? That is meant for the elect. But we also understand that there's gonna be bad ones also, man, that, that are gonna be cast away. And Lord willing, I'm not one of them bad ones. Okay? It says, so shall it be. At the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked among from amongst the among the just. Okay? What do this word sever mean? Okay. Strong's G eight seventy three. Afarizo. It says to mark off from others by boundaries, to limit, to separate. In a bad sense, to exclude is disrupt is disreputable. In a good sense, to appoint, set apart for some purpose. Okay, so the Lord is going to divide His men. Okay, He's going to separate those ones that are wicked amongst us. Okay, from from the the ones that are wicked from the just. Okay, the ones that are righteous. Okay, the ones that are really serving Him. And this is what's going to happen to the ones that do get severed. Okay, and it says, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Okay? So it don't matter if you if you teaching, okay, yeah, uh, everything. You if you ain't got charity, if you ain't loving a brother, if you ain't really down for y'all about Shimon Shah, okay, you in danger of that fire, man. Okay? And how do I know this? Because this is what the scriptures say, man. Okay? This is this is a future prophecy. And there's still guys that go, that are going to have to get severed, okay, from amongst us, okay, from this truth, okay, up to the to the end, man, okay, and they're going to have to get destroyed, man. You got a lot of guys in Great Millstone who, who uh, you know, speak about you know the RFID chip, but the whole time they're going to be the ones taking the RFID chip, man, okay. Like I said, you hypocrites ain't going to make it, man. Okay? So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay? want to say shalom until next time.